Hello YouTube land, check your clocks because it's amateur hour time. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we completed the case number two of the Turnabout Sisters. We found Mia's killer. Hopefully she can rest in peace now because Maya's not the killer. Phoenix Wright isn't the killer. It was that scum boy with the bling, red white. But now we have a new case on our hands. And it's, what, is, what was it called again? Turnabout Samurai? Something to do with a samurai in a TV show. Yeah, we're about to figure out what happens next, because we only saw the intro, and now we're going to see what happens next, like I said. So, if you enjoy Phoenix Wright, be sure to leave a like. Leave a like for Capcom. Leave a like for Wright and Co. Law Offices, because now it's not Fay and Co. Law Offices anymore. Wright owns it specifically now. So, let's jump back into this awesome game and figure out more stuff than be a detective ace attorney killer guy. What's happening next? That rocked! Hey, it's Maya. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa, stop waving that broom around. <laughs> oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? Yo! <laughs> He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See? I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Ha! Huh, I thought Phoenix was, like, younger than that, actually, for some reason. Then watch it with me. He's really cool, and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps. <laughs> this is basically a conversation I would have with, like, with one of my friends. Well, the steel samurai's over, so I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. Hmm. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices. How am I gonna pay the rent this month? <laughs> Maybe find another job? I don't know. Actually, that would be a bad idea. Be an attorney and then like have another job on hand? You won't have as many clients, so I guess that's be like a lawyer is like a full-time thing. I don't know. He'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. I guess so. October 16th, 8.14 in the morn. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. So, you know what? For some reason, I thought he lived in the office. That's not a thing? Phoenix Wright has his own house? That's, I guess that's a thing. I thought his house was the office. I don't know. Beep. Hit. Hello? This is Phoenix. N N Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. Uh, it's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Uh... Huh? You mean the guy on the show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed the villain! Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. <laughs> no! I mean he actually did it! In real life! He skewered a villain with a samurai spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick! Ah. Alright, so now we're heading back to the office. It took, an, it took us an hour to get to our office. We must live a far away then. Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids, sh kids show, The Steel Samurai, war warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on the suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. Dang. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over. The world is over. Bring, bring. Oh, it's a cell phone, got it. Yes, right in co offices. What? Nick, it, it's the Steel Samurai. What? Yes, yes, of course, we'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go, go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in the detention. So what? So, I decided this will be our first case. Cool. Let's talk then. What to do? Well, what should we do? 
What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the steel samurai. Does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? <laughs> My money's on sightseeing. <laughs> Probably. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. <laughs> Great. What an awesome partner you are. All right. To the detention center. Whoa. So, oh, this is Will Powers. What's wrong, Maya? It's him. In the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client. That's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it in murder at least once. Maybe twice. <laughs> really? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you saying? Um. Y yes? Something wrong? N no, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed? Oh, no, oh, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. Uh. Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't do it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Help. What happened? What happened? Maybe you could start by telling us what happened? Y yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 o'clock that morning. There was a rehearsal schedule for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Dang. Yeah. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He had been expertly expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I, that the steel samurai uses as a weapon. Huh. Maybe you could explain to me just what the steel samurai is? Nick, how could you say such a thing? I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Get out of here, Maya. I know some, some good TV shows and uh, some animes. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kid's show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> uh. I see. Neo Old Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? Powers Alibi. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at night. We worked through some action see scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon on the murder? Some action hero. What will the kids think? I, th I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right. Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick. Let's go. I'm willing to bet ten bucks she asked for autographs. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Global Studios. There we go. What's happening here? So now we're... This is a case of a movie star. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome! Aren't you excited? Uh, old bag. <laughs> Her name's Old Bag. Hey, you there! You want in? You gotta go through me. Uh, oh, so sorry. We are um lawyers. Oh yeah. Well, that's great. I'm security, and it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. G gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. 
I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. You today, something horrible happens to you all thinking the sightseeing. Wasting your time in a place like this. That's what jobs you should be doing. Or do lawyers on work for us. Maybe I should become a lawyer too, sound. Like I like the case of me who's moving around the days, please. While well, the other thing is we different. We didn't sound strange, right? Close. What are you guys doing in these days as a son of the call this? Um, Nick? <laughs> Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. <laughs> I don't know. It's possible. <laughs> you're being spoken to used today oh my god okay so we got the we got the stereotypical old lady let's talk i hope <laughs> the studios so what do you do here at the studios at global studios we make children's dreams come true in fact in my younger days <laughs> oh my lord no you were a star only a little twinkle between the stars here i'm afraid theory w wow this place has really gone downhill, you know? But ten years ago, now that it was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too. He was... Hammer? The victim, dummy! The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Huh. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought to steal Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to Boy Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. Okay. Mr. Hammer. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there's an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. They used to playing the villain of children programs. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Huh. Dang, so... I guess Jack Hammer had it bad, I suppose. Reason for suspicion. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 o'clock when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to let me left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to be passed by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 and the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer, you can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't that about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. <laughs> I thought you were the suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. Well, she won't let me go without a thing of request. Maybe Mr. Powers can help me. Hello, how was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? N no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> Aw. Uh, security lady, help me. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible! She called me suspicious looking! Y yes, actually she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. Oh. <laughs> she sucks up all to the big wigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. Ugh, she's got some nerve. Do you, do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course. Powers request. Document proving Will Powers requested for an attorney. Cool. I just hope this will get me past that security lady. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Present, uh, this. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize that bold, childish scrawl. Powers request given to the security lady. To think he would entrust his fate of use to such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here toward the studios. No going to the right. That's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. Oh, I know who says pal. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Ooh. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 
50 cents? <laughs> no, I ain't paying my two quarters. All right, let's go. Outside Studio One. Whoa, what is that? Uh, <laughs> Ew, it's like a monstrosity. Gumshoe, that's my dude. Hey, aren't you that waiter from the other day? Ah, it's that confused detective. Hey, Belle, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's all your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Ooh, that, that shook him real quick. Um, detective? I think it hurt his feelings. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know when the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't make it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on the case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my in theory character trait. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit of a fourth wall break there. I'd say he's a I'd say he's a character, all right. I love Gumshoe so much. He's like the best. I love like just like just how he is, how he acts. I wonder how he is in the anime. Hopefully he's like the same type of like detective he is in the anime. I never seen it, but I hear it's actually really good. So, how's your investigation going, detective? Well it's hey, I can't tell you that, Bill. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right. So detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Jack's autopsy report. Okay, 10.15 at 2.30. Cause, pierced through the chest by a spear. Okie doke. The arrest. Why is Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. Okay, the security lady. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady, what a charmer. Huh? Uh, are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Power said, she's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? I want it. What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo of that steel samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See a camera up on that gate, pal? I see it. The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of him. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence! We're finished! Funny, for someone with a hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. <laughs> What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> um, we like to ask the employees here some questions. Should think, Bill. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. <laughs> I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. He looks like he's enjoying himself. Look at him laughing it up. Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. All right, let's go. Uh, studio. Nick, look. That security lady's in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops are like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough so she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied Pallas is guilty yet? Ugh. She had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Can I talk to her again? No, oh, I can. More stuff. Photographic proof. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just a 
the left from here is the gate to the camera that took that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. Okay. This guard station in the central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1 o'clock. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I've seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him too. If he's not the one that did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? <laughs> good one, Sonny. She thinks I was joking. <laughs> Right? You can't... It's kind of hard not to label a suspect. Mr. Hammer. Was the victim Mr. Hammer a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense? Oh, yes. He was the greatest of bearded samurai. That too, yes. He's shown the brightest. Back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate is a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? Automatic camera. About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over at the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Okay, but can I check it out now? I wonder. Boop. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey, no touching! Okay, that means... Alright, <laughs> now I gotta move. Uh, bu 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 outside Studio One. Oh, the employee area. Let's do that. Hello? Anyone here? Nick! This is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey look, there's Power's dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Alright, uh, window. A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted so I can't see inside. Okay. The, the, whoa. The, the metal grate on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through here, I bet. Yeah, if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guess. Right. Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid. Mmm, up for debate. How about this? The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Hmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach for just for steaks. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, sometimes that's how I am, too. I'd be like, yo, I want something. But then my friend would be like, you just had like 15 of something. I'm like, yeah, but I'm still hungry. Feed me, man. <laughs> Let's see what else I can find. Candy machine? Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh. It's so normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. But wait, look. Samurai soda. Nick, try this. Ladies first. <laughs> Alright, what's in the... Ooh. There's a sign by the dressing room door. Will Powers. It must be next to... It must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. I bet. For all the celebrities out there. The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick, let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir. What do you mean, fine? <laughs> you never know. There might be something like the samurai spear. We don't need a spear. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. <laughs> let's go in. Can we? Oh, we can go in. To the dressing room. What do we got? Power's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. Alright, let's examine. What we got? Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Okay. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. <laughs> you just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? <laughs> she just said that she had for steaks, now for candy. Three stomachs. Hmm? This must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee card key. This must be Power's. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow. You mean borrow. <laughs> card key for Studio's employees. Grants entry to Studio One. We might need this, actually. 
Okay, uh, anything else? I wonder what else is inside Power's bag. Stop that! My partner is a thief in training. <laughs> Get out of the bag, Maya. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Ooh, this is the wig he used with Samurai Boogie Woogie. Nick, try this on. No. <laughs> and how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kind of like samurai movies. Kinda. All right, let's keep going. I love these two. <laughs> Phoenix and Maya. Like, they're like an odd couple. Studio. Oh, yeah, we got to go to the, um, uh, the studio. Studio Juan. I want to get to Studio Juan. The entrance to Studio Juan. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened. All right, we're in. She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. All right, let's go. Inside Studio One. Yeah, so that really is where his body is. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so, so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here, and the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the spear. Sounds pretty real to me. All right, let's examine then. The outline where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I think the spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. I guess. Wait, where's his head? Oh, it's right here. Got it. I was like, how do you even see that? Anyway. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Hey, you. No touching that. Oh. Um, sorry. My partner is kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with the props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but... I don't, I don't know. Sorry. I think Maya and Penny are... Uh, it, has, it is Penny. Okay, I don't know. Maya and Penny are starting to sound a little too similar. So I'm going to have to, like, switch Penny up a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. But... Do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry. Leave it to us. All right. Let's talk. The day of the crime. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes. I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area? That's where Phoenix... Phoenix? <laughs> that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Huh. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? What, what kind? No, 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 no. I'm sure you're a fine girl. Sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Power's alibi. What do we do, Nick? I haven't found anything. If WP is the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead. Well, I don't know about that, but one day just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. But really? But wait, if someone had to come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything else? Let's go put that security lady on the spot. 
All right, sensing someone. So you sense that someone other than regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness's testimony. Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Right, right, right. So this is, oh wait, don't we have profiles, I think? Yeah, so security lady, <laughs> unknown age. While we know that her name is Old Bag. Jack Hammer, the victim, a former big name action star. Hmm. Name Penny Nichols. <laughs> Penny Nichols. Assistant at Google Studios in charge of large props and set pieces. Okay. She's only 18? I thought she looked older than that. Jesus. You know what? The only Penny... These are the only two pennies I know is Penny Nichols from Phoenix Wright, and then I also know Penny Krygor from WarioWare. Those are the only two pennies I know. Other than that, I know no other pennies. I gotta move. Where to? This way. Wendy. I think her name's Wendy. Yeah, isn't her name Wendy Oldbag? It's kind of funny. No, it's just security lady? But I could have sworn her name was Wendy Oldbag. Like, Wendy Oldbag, but Wendy. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Alright. Uh, assistance claim. What? I saw a suspicious look on your face. I want to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers is the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? All right, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spuggy-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her! She's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are like that nowadays. Running your mouth so there is no tomorrow saying that there's no other thing. Well, I was just young and tell you a thing until I was talking to Elvis. Back when we did the crying shame when you think. <laughs> she left. <laughs> well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulder. I guess. Wow, she just went off. The computer that runs the security, the security, <laughs> the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we can see with a photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Let's try it. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. One. One. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Uh, there's a number. Uh, okay. I didn't check that at all. I wonder if I can just rando guess it. Um, this one. Oh, please make it work. There. Enter. Oh my god, I got it right. Ayo. <laughs> hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Oh. Why is he dragging his feet? Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something printed on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Photo number two. There has to be another one then. Hey, hey, Nick! Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo was what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is the security lady? Hmm, I don't know. To be continued. Alright, guys. So, we, we figured out a little bit right there about Will Powers and what's going down. W old bag, everyone else. <laughs> But we still can't really, no, not that one. We still can't clarify if he's the killer or not. So we'll see what happens next. 
in the next episode, of course, because we're going to cut it off here. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Also, comment and subscribe to get new feed on videos and become a member of the Cuckoo Crew today. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter so you can recommend any of the fidget games you want me to play or chat, your preference. And also, if you subscribe, be sure to tap that bell to get notifications on videos so you'll never miss one from me ever again. But that's going to be it from Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the next episode, we'll go back to trial and prove Will Powers is not guilty. And I will see you then. But remember... Also, yeah, another one more announcement. Remember, the 50 sub special on Wednesday will be held at 10.30 p.m. at night. So if you're willing to chill, be sure to come out and hang out and play some Vigi games. Well, not Vigi games. I'll be playing the Vigi game. I'll be playing Yoshi's Story, actually. So I'll just reveal that to you guys now. So I'll be playing Yoshi's Story. More information on Wednesday, of course. So I will see you then. Amateur out.